Hello folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be making gear, lots and lots of gear here in Final Fantasy IX. So long as you are on disc 3, and you have access to the Ocean Chocobo, check out my previous video if you need to know how to get this Chocobo on disc 3, then you can repeat the cotton robe trick indefinitely to your heart's content, until you have as much gear as you wish to have. Now, one thing I'm going to recommend is that you have perhaps about 15 to 20,000 gear to start with. That's a pretty good point just to get you going with this. You can start with less, but just bear in mind that you are going to be running around a little bit more to begin with, just to get your gear total up. So, what we're going to be doing is starting off in Dali, and I'll just show you on the map where we are. Just there, and we're going to head inside, and we're going to purchase 99 wrist items. Now, you may have done the cotton robe trick before, but if you've done this on previous discs, then you'll remember that you can only usually do it one time on a, you know, on a particular expedition, and then you have to wait until you have access to the areas that sell the synthesis items once more before it can be repeated. But now, at this point in the game, we can do it to our heart's content, as I say. Right, so we're going to start by purchasing 99 wrists, and if we want to purchase all 99 together, which I recommend you do for the wrist items, then that is going to set us back 12,870 gold. With that done, we're going to head over to Burmesia, where we'll be able to purchase the steepled hats fairly quickly. Now, one thing I'm going to recommend if you're on a system that allows you to do this, just tap the turbo mode, high speed mode, whatever it's called. And then we're going to make our way over to Burmesia, which is just to the northwest of Dali, so very close. Now, slightly annoying, we do have to run to the back of Burmesia each time we want to stock up on these steepled hats. But again, with those gameplay toggles here on the PS4 or PC or Xbox, then, you know, it just speeds things up quite remarkably, it has to be said. And once you get used to the routes, it's really not that bad at all. So just head through this door here, up here, and then uh, up here, and then to the left exit so yeah turbo speed can just make controlling sedan a little bit tricky at times and then in the room on the right hand side we have the moogle atla and he's able to sell us those steepled hats now steepled hats at 260 gil uh, does mean that we are going to if we want to stock up on the max amount of them in a single visit we are going to have to spend 25,740 gil but bear in mind that the actual act of synthesis does cost 1,000 gil per item. So make sure you save enough gil to try and craft about at least four or five uh, items, cotton robes, in a single visit. Although fortunately when we sell those cotton robes, which is pretty much in the same location as the synthesis, then we can just go and synthesize more. So yeah, don't be scared to get quite a few steepled hats. And then if you just need to kill a few enemies to get, you know, 1,000 gil or whatever. Uh, so you can at least craft your first cotton robe then by all means go ahead and do that. Uh, but in total, if you want to stock up on 99 of everything and get all the synthesis done in a single visit, you would need a total of 137,610 gil. So you're probably not going to be able to do that initially. But again, just doing a few synthesis items at once will give you the profit so that you can do more on the next visit and so on and so forth. Uh, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but just follow what I'm doing and it shouldn't be a big deal. Right, now, in order to actually synthesize and sell those synthesized cotton robes, I'm going to head over to uh, Trino here. So, it happens to be on the same continent. And I believe you can do it at Limblum. Uh, but I find Trino just a little bit quicker once you actually access the city to move to the various locations. So, let's go ahead and head inside the city. And all we're going to do is start off by going over to the left, down the steps here, and the synthesis shop. Is just up here so very easy to reach and we can go ahead and craft as many cotton robes as we can afford at a thousand gil a piece uh, I already have done this trick a few times so I can go ahead and do all 99 and once we've got the cotton robes crafted we're gonna head over to a shop that we will be able to sell them at and we're gonna head south here right across the stadium and then the weapon shop is located just up here you might remember battling a few monsters around this zone uh, but that's not what we're doing at the moment. And then we just sell those cotton robes for profit. We where are they? They're usually quite far down the list. Uh, there we go, yep. Yeah. 99 cotton robes. And then we finish up with 
in my case, 242,807 gil, uh, which effectively means we've made a profit of 60,650 gil. So once you're able to get to the point where you can buy 99 of each item and synthesize 99 in a single run and sell those 99 cotton robes, uh, then you will be making that profit of just over 60,000 gil. Uh, again, it might take you a little bit time of time to build up to that amount of synthesis, uh, but that's no problem because it is exponential. So as you start to make more gil, you'll be able to make and sell more in a single run, and then you'll quickly build up to where you've maxed out, which I believe, uh, as I say, is 137,610 gil. So once you've got that in the bank, then you'll be able to do everything in one run just as I did there. And once we've done that, once we've finished in Trino, it is just a case of heading back over to Dali. Uh, oh, where's Dali? I've lost it. It's around here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Uh, and then repeating the process by stocking up on 99 wrist items. So yeah, I'm going to do a few runs of that and then we'll see where I end up. Right, so I've just completed a couple of runs, two to be precise, and I've got 363,000 gil in total at this point. And what we're going to do now is head into Dali and start again. I'm going to see how fast we can do this. I'll put a timer on the screen. One thing to note, though, is that once you're able to synthesize all 99 items in a single go, you don't actually need to head to the weapon shop in order to sell them in Trino. You can just sell them at the shop in Dali here as you go to purchase the wrists. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead here. I'll pop a timer on the screen and then this should give you an indication as to how long it's going to take you to just make as much gil as you need. So bear in mind we're doing just over 60,000 gil, uh, however long this takes. Let's go ahead and give this a go. So I'm going to start the timer here and we'll make our way into Dali. And let's go ahead and just speed things up once more. So this won't be the fastest run in the world, uh, but we'll see what I can do here. So we'll go ahead and purchase those wrists uh, already, not as fast as I could probably make it, but hey, it gives us an idea of what we're up to. So next up then, once we've been to Dali, we're going to head over to Burmesia, which is located over this side. So once you just remember where all these towns are, then it won't be a big deal in making your way to them. It'll just almost be like second nature. Right, up here. Uh, just, oh no. Oh no, that, that's right. So, uh, I've actually had a bit of a lunch break since making the last part of the video. So, so that's refresh my memory a touch there. Up here, across to the left-hand side and in there. And we're just coming up to the first minute. Through the door. And then over to the right-hand room. And then we'll speak to Atla and go ahead and purchase these steepled hats. Not headgear. I know it's raining, but that's it's waterproof. <laughs> okay, let's go now over to Trino. So we make our way back out of uh, Burmesia. Ah, oh, this run is so far from perfect. Whatever it ends up, I know imagine you could probably take an extra 30 seconds off it or something. Once you've got, uh, you know, perfected it, perfected the speeds. So it shouldn't uh, take too much time to get to Trino though. I'm trying to do this live without any editing. That way we can uh, just get a good idea in real time how long it is. And, I'm, you know, I'm not editing or anything like that. Okay, so Trina is located just up here on the other side. There we go. The good thing is Trina and Dali are very, very close to one another. And we're just approaching two minutes at this point. Okay. So over to the synthesis shop. Remember what I said, we don't need to go to the weapon shop. Since we're doing all of this in a single uh, run here. I've got the gill for it. There we go. So now it's just a case of heading back to Dali. Selling everything and then stocking up on the robes once more. I uh, forgot we're not going to the weapon shop. I did only say it about three times. Obviously I wasn't listening to myself. And then Dali is located just on the other side of the mountains. There we go. And into the shop. Looks like we can do this easily under three minutes if we uh, don't make the same errors and that that I was making. Well, even so, look at that, two minutes 53 and we're done. Okay, ready to buy our wrists again for the next run. And like I said, that was far from perfect. I reckon a good 30 seconds could be saved off that. I reckon if you're fast, know the routes, 
and do it perfectly. You could probably get it, you know, one of these completed and get your 60 plus thousand gil in around two minutes easily. So that just gives you an indication as to how quickly you can make gil using this method. Uh, you know, how many times could you do that an hour? Well, 30 times uh, 60,000 gil. Let's just round down. And that's what, uh, 1.8 million gil, is it, in half an, uh, in an hour, if you wanted to do this farm for an hour? That's a lot of money, you know, far more than you're going to need. So spend an hour doing this trick, and you won't have to worry about gil again for this game. So anyway, folks, there we have it. Thanks again to Red Mario 13 and Arky 36 for sharing the uh, route here. I hope it helps you guys out. If it does, don't forget to drop a like. And don't forget as well, I am currently, at least at the time of uploading this video uh, in the process of live streaming Final Fantasy 9. So, you know, please do come by if you're able to say hello on those streams. It'd be great to have you. We do have a good chat. Uh, we have a bit of banter and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time.